All right, guys. So today I am here to let you guys know the whole situation with the uh, SC300. So pretty much, I uh, really don't have too much to get done with the car. Just a drop shaft, harness, uh, and just small little things. But the biggest things is uh, drop shaft and the harness. So my thing is. Um, I'm just letting you guys know the whole situation on my, my harness. Uh, I went with a trusted guy that had a pretty good rep on uh, Facebook. You know, he was all over the all over the pages and everything, saying this guy's a great guy. You should go through him to get your harness made. Cheap price. So I was like, okay, I'll try it. It wasn't too bad of a price that I paid for the harness, but uh, at this point, I should have just saved up a lot more money and just went ahead and went with somebody who was actually a business owner what I thought was this guy was being a business owner really wasn't um, uh, yeah it's it's not looking so good so my harness has been shipped off since April 20th and today is the 4th of July so happy 4th to everybody um, hope you guys are enjoying it you know drink responsibly because you know everybody drinks a lot on uh, the fourth but anyways um you know i went with this guy and i shipped my harness off okay the conversation going back and forth up to the point where he had my harness was outstanding you know i contact him he contact right back contact contact right back but then since the day he got my harness it's kind of been like i don't know the yeah, I don't know what happened with the conversation. You know, I would reply to him, hey, what's the status? And it wasn't like an everyday thing, like I'm contacting him every day trying to find out what's going on with the harness. I understand it takes time. Uh, my turnaround date was three to four weeks on the harness, getting completed. So, yeah, it's it's not three to four weeks now. Don't know what happened. But, uh, yeah, it's it's been about a few months now and I still have no harness. Um, when he does contact contact me, uh, it's like very vague on what's going on with the harness. I would ask him, hey, what's the, uh, the update on the harness? And I wouldn't get too much of a response. Then I would write him back and he would read my messages. There's plenty of messages that were read, but no response to it. And at this point, I'm getting like frustrated. Like I, I like you are my my build is revolving around you right now like I have so much put into this car I'm right there at the light I can see it but it's just like you are stopping my build right now um, I'm not gonna say who it is no I'm not I'm not out to bash anyone um, I'm not I'm not gonna bash anyone on their business and how they run it or whatever but uh, just make sure you guys go through a legit company when it comes to uh, high value items like that because you know I shipped off the one Jay-Z harness and my two Jay-Z GE harness to get them both combined and I paid already so you know I'm, I'm SOL I don't have a harness I'm out X amount of dollars um, yeah it was cheaper but it was still a high value that I did pay to get that uh that harness shipped out and you know I'm, I'm out I'm out now I I'm not saying that he's not gonna complete it I still have faith um, I did contact him today and we had a, a pretty good conversation and like what's actually going on so my harness it since he had it from April 20th my harness is just getting apart like that's unexcusable for someone who's owning a business my harness is just getting apart and it's not near getting completed right now um, uh, there's so many things going through my mind right now about the whole thing I'm trying to stay positive I do have a lot going on with the car I still have to show you guys what's going on with the car give you a, a really good update on that one 
but uh, that's that's besides the point right now. It's um, my thing is whenever you do buy anything from anyone, just make sure, especially PayPal. That's one thing I did do. I did go PayPal. Um, just make sure you guys do that. Don't you know? I know Facebook now has Facebook Pay and MoneyGram and all that crap. Don't do that. Do not do that. Just go through uh, PayPal, and if anything happens, you know they can reimburse you the money. But at this point, if I do get a reimburse the money, I'm still out of a harness. My car still doesn't run. So, uh, yeah. Um, just one thing. Uh, just remember just to go through PayPal uh, so anyways let's get back into the story so yeah the conversation was going good and everything today uh, but what I noticed from him he was mixing personal life into business life and I asked him I was like are you a business you know you're a businessman right so yeah correct I'm a businessman but still he's throwing these things at me about his personal life that's very irrelevant to me because personally I don't care about what's going on in your personal life yeah I understand like everyone has a personal life but please do not mix personal and business together because those are two things that do not mix I promise you it does not end up well um, yeah so he started telling me about all this stuff and I'm like yeah okay yeah um, I really don't care at this point um, you've had my harness for a while now and you're just getting it apart so he's been in the midst of moving shops and all of this personal life crap that I really don't care about and he's still failing to update me on what's going on with my harness so uh, yeah so I just had to tell him how it was today um, just like I wasn't rude or anything which I don't think I was um, I was just you know giving him word words of wisdom was saying like hey don't mix your personal life with business life and customer service is the key like if you have bad reviews from just you can have like five stars across the board that one person that gave a bad review bam you know who who knows what any customer could think about it oh this guy he you know yeah he messed up one time but there's always that but so yeah, customer service is the key, man. You got to keep contacting people. That's one thing about a business. Like, I'm no businessman by far, but like, it's kind of common sense. Like, if I sell you something, you wouldn't want me to not respond to you at all on when is it shipping out, where is the tracking number, anything like that. So, just, uh, yeah, it's customer service man just have good customer service and I understand like he was telling me he's the only person that works in his shop why not get a helping hand you know like you're supposed to be a business you can have someone else work under you you know pay them have them do what you can if you want to be a mechanic be a mechanic if you want to be a businessman be a businessman if you want to do anything else within your business do that but all of these things that want you can't you cannot be at every each and every place all the time you're only one person so my thing is just for anybody out there any of you guys if you're trying to start a business just please keep good customer service maybe one day I'll end up buying something from you out there so that's the thing that I just wanted to put out um, so yeah um, August is the time frame that he gave me is when I'll be getting my harness back sadly uh, he did offer a a partial refund on on the expenses that I did pay but I, I told him like that means nothing to me like I don't I don't care about the partial refund that's not the reason you know I paid you to get my harness done it's so I can get extended uh, turnaround time and a partial refund back. That's not the reason. The reason I went through you is because you had great reviews. People were vouching for you. Um, so that that what made me say, hey, this guy's pretty good. He's pretty legit. And that's why I went through you, not to get a partial refund. Um, uh, yeah, I, I don't even 
no man. <sighs> yeah, August was my my deadline to have the car done, but it's probably not gonna get done. I still gotta get it tuned. Uh, I can order dr the drop shaft now, but uh, yeah, my still my car's still gonna be sitting because of my harness. That's like the big. That's like the veins to the heart right now is my wire harness and without that I can't do anything with a car I can't do anything so I'll be waiting until August hopefully an outcome keeping my fingers crossed on that one but uh, I'll definitely be keeping you guys updated on what's going on with the car you got any questions about a 1JZ uh, GTE swap non VVTI because I don't know too much about the non VVTIs into a SE300. If you guys got any questions, just hit me up. Uh, I know a couple of guys follow me on Instagram. Uh, a lot of people comment on the videos and a lot of people comment on, on pictures on Instagram, all that stuff. But uh, if you got anything, just let me know and I'll, I'll definitely uh, help you guys out. But uh, that's, that's, the up, that's the update on the SE300. Um, and yeah, I'll be getting with you guys. Hopefully not in August. I'll, I'll continue to make videos uh, until then. Uh, I got a few things that I do have to show you on the car, so stay tuned. And yeah, we'll try to work this thing out together. But until the next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.